Hey what's up, Zach King here from FinalCutKing.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove the hum in the background of your video, those annoying noises, and we can reduce those and actually take away a lot of them in Final Cut and Soundtrack Pro. I'm in Final Cut now but I want to send this audio over to Soundtrack Pro to get started. Let's give it a little listen so you know what I'm dealing with. Okay guys, make sure you go to the Final Cut King Facebook page and check it out. Like that page for more tips. So you can hear a little bit of that background hum. It doesn't sound too bad right now, but I want to get rid of that. So let's go ahead and right click on the clip. Send to Soundtrack Pro Multitrack Project. We'll save it. So now we're opened up in Soundtrack Pro. Let's go ahead and select this, double click. It opens it up in the editor here. And we can play through the audio once again. Final cut. Okay guys, make sure you go to the Final Cut King Facebook page. So what we're trying to do is find a little section that has some of that bad hum. Maybe something right here between this gap. Like, So there's a good constant hum. Let's grab that. Drag and select. Now we want to listen to it. Go ahead and play. Good, so that's a good section. And that's our sample audio. So we're going to go to Process, Noise Reduction, Set Noise Print. So it's telling it that that's the sound we're going to be removing throughout our whole selection. Now let's go ahead and select everything. I know that in my project I actually only used this area. I didn't use the rest of my take. So let's go ahead and go to Process, Noise Reduction once again, and Reduce Noise. Now, just like in Motion, we have a little HUD here. Okay, guys, make sure you go to the Final Cut King Facebook page and check it out. So there it is. We can play again here, and then we can hit this button. Okay, guys, make sure you go to what the it Final really Cut sounds King like. Facebook page and check it out. Like that page for more. So there's the difference between the original. This is the original when it's orange, and here's tips, tricks, and tutorials in Final Cut Studio. How it is afterwards. We can also still move things around. We can adjust the noise threshold. I'm going to pull this more towards uh, native 65 tone control okay guys make sure you go to the Final Cut King Facebook so I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply you can see the filter has been applied right down here and we're ready to save I'm saving this here now we can go ahead and show you how to drop this in here you grab this little file drop it in Final Cut Pro drag this right in here on top quick render and we'll play it through okay guys make sure you go to the Final Cut King Facebook page and check it out like that page for more tips tricks and tutorials in Final Cut Studio and there's how you change the hum in those bad audio clips in your projects don't rely on doing this in post always try to get the best audio on set but uh, you know there's times you have this problem and you can just throw a little filter on here in Soundtrack Pro and it'll help you out a little bit so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Check out my website, finalcutking.com, and subscribe if you like these videos. I'm Zach King, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. This video was brought to you by editorskeys.com. Go ahead and check out their website. We just gave away some audio packages and Final Cut keyboards to the winners of our video contest, thanks to editorskeys.com.